Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. Good evening, Good evening. Me, Sabrina, welcome. Okay. Can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, good evening. Yes, I can hear you. All right. Thank you. Welcome to everyone to another English class. Well, this is right 29 All right well uh, we are we are nine here in Zoom. Okay, welcome. Um, okay, we're going to wait for the rest of your classmates. class uh, nice to see all of you we're gonna start the class okay today it is um thursday 29th okay as as usual we're going to start remembering okay the, the the main structure of this module it is the present perfect okay which is it in where we use the past participle of the verb all right um we're going to remember a little bit about present perfect. Okay, what is the correct form of this? Oh, fill in the blank. Being. Okay, can you read the complete sentence? Okay. okay. He, he being, being as, as, as slept for hours. He been, he's missing something. The he has been, he has been. And he has been, sir. He has. Been. Been. Is it correct or incorrect? Correct. It's correct. All right. It says, I have never traveled. I never. I, never. I have never. I have never I traveled. Been, I have never traveled. Let's see. I, I have never traveled. Okay. This is the answer. Excellent. I have never travel good okay this is a question have how you seen, seen the field the titanic? titanic have how? you seen the field titanic okay thank you mr daniel mr angel let's see how you, you have you seen the field have you seen the film have you seen okay excellent she okay. has been has my friend since 2017. 2017. It has been perfect. Question four. Has she finished her homework? Has she finished her homework? Excellent. We? We have being married for four years. We have been married, perfect. 
Next. I, I, haven't, I, haven't, I haven't slept, slept for two days. I haven't slept. Yes. Like this? Yeah. Yes. With T. Good. How do you play Have you Call, Call of, of Duty? Duty? Have you played? Have you played Call of Duty? Okay, that is the present perfect. Okay, present perfect. Remember the present perfect, it is where we use the auxiliary either have or has. Okay, either have or has. Okay, well, uh, now, okay, we're going to remember, we're going to practice in, okay, we're going to practice in the present perfect. Just give me a second. Okay, this one, it is about question, how to make question in present perfect. Loading, here we go. Okay, help me to put in order. Have you ever traveled? Have you ever traveled? Have you ever traveled? Has your mom ever traveled abroad? Yes, have has has your has your ever no has your mother mm, mm. excellent has your mom ever traveled abroad abroad how how do you ever as have you ever yes mm, ask help ask, mm, ask policy ask. for help ask police for help for a help a policy office for a help excellent have you ever asked a police officer for help Good job. Next. Had you ever eaten seafood? Have you? Have you eaten? you ever eaten seafood? Eaten. Do you know what seafood is? Do you know what yes. seafood? Marisco. Yeah, marisco. For example, when you go to Puerto de la Libertad, and you ask um, a fish, some shells, Shrimp, octopus, exactly. octopus. Octopus, octopus, those are seafood. Seafood. Okay, help me to make a question. How do you watch you YouTube watch today? today? Have you watched YouTube today? Have you? How long? Yes. <laughs> how long do you watch YouTube? <laughs> how long do you watch YouTube? Two hours. <laughs> This year is hours. interesting, teacher. <laughs> okay, it is interesting for you. Okay, what do you usually what do you usually watch on YouTube? Turkish well, series. Turkish series. <laughs> I love Turkey. them. I love them. Essentially, <laughs> man. <laughs> okay. okay. This is the you are the second uh, person who tell who tell me that like Turkey series. That is beautiful, all is beautiful. The dress, the the history, and they are the really story. history, it's history, ah. yes. Todavía estamos okay. descendientes de ellos. En nice. la vida real, ya los investigué. <laughs> Good, okay. Well, we're going to make a question using these words. Help me, help me. Have you have ever ridden a horse? Uh -huh. Have you ever 
put it in a horse, seven. Next, your best friend today text, your friend has. Has you. Has this texted has. your best friend today? Has you. Has, has your has your best friend text has your best friend texting today has your best friend text you, 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 today. you today you today anything have on you mercado libre ever but well here in el sábado marketplace <laughs> Have you ever bought anything on Mercado Libre? Have you ever Seven. bought? Good. Asia, to have ever you been? Have, have you, you ever been seen Puerta? to Asia? Have you ever been to? Asia. Yes. Maybe two more. Two more. How do you. What have you eaten today? Seven. What have, have you, you eaten, today? eaten today? What have you ever. What have you eaten today? Well, I have eaten uh, chicken. Rice and salad and two tortillas. tortillas. How about you? Have what you have you ever, eaten today? Have you pupusas. ever? Pupusas. I eat, have I eaten, eat pupusas. You have eaten pupusas. I have eaten pupusas. Yes. Nice. In the morning? At night? Oh, at night. At, at night. night. Okay. Where Angel lives? He can find pupusas everywhere. Yes. <laughs> okay. He lives in Oloquil. Yes. Okay. Let's see the last one. This is the last one. Have you ever been a concert? Have you, Have you ever, Have you ever been, been to a concert? Been to a concert. Have you ever been a concert? I've never been. I've never you have been. never been. You have never been. Well, me neither. I have never been a concert. Okay. Me well, neither. this is the practice of the present perfect tense. Okay. The question four. And okay, it says teacher on list. Okay. No problem, Mr. Manda. Okay. Well, uh, I'm going to start taking the panel list right now. Okay, and here we go. Welcome to everyone. Benitez Ventura. Present teacher. Good. You you were the first one, if I'm not wrong. <laughs> yes. Marroquín Martinez. Marroquín Martinez. López Pérez. Florentino García. Present teacher. Álvarez Mejía. Present teacher. Miranda Rodríguez. I'm here, teacher. Abelar Cortés. Abelar Cortés. <coughs> Valdés Gómez. Here. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Welcome, Mr. Um, Aguirre Chavarría. Present. Mari Merino González. Merino González. Present. Good. Ramírez Arevalo. Ramírez Arevalo. Cuellar de Barrientos. Cuellar de Barrientos. Ventura de Valdés. Present. Good. Thank you. Galicia Gertrudis. Present. Escamilla Jurado. Mancía Gutiérrez. Mancía Gutiérrez. 
Cornejo Erazo. Cornejo Erazo. Vázquez Romero. Present teacher. Flores Hernández. Present teacher. García Orellano. Present. Vázquez Vázquez. Vázquez Vázquez. Gómez García. Present. Orellana del Cid. Present teacher. All right, thank you very much. Okay, welcome to everyone to another English class. Okay, today we're going to go over uh, in the unit number two. Okay, the unit number two. Okay, and also uh, we're going to keep studying the topics that we saw yesterday. Okay, give me a second, I'm still loading. Okay. All right. Um, let's continue. Okay. I'm sorry. Just give me a sec. Okay. Um, Hold on, please. Can you see my exercise? Can you see the exercise? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay, here uh, it says choose the correct verb from the list below to complete the following sentence. Put the verb in the negative form of the present perfect tense. Okay, we're going to use the verbs that you can find here. For example, fix, begin, arrive, be, see, stop, speak, buy, read, and visit. And we need to fill in the blanks, but in negative form. In negative form, present perfect. Negative form, present perfect. Okay, uh, are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, we need to put the, we need to write the verbs in present perfect, but in negative form, negative form. Okay, uh, take a picture, please, because uh, we're going to work in groups okay, for, I guess, 10 minutes, 10, seven minutes. Okay, the exercise, this exercise. All right, remember, you have to put, you have to, Fill in the blanks using the verbs in negative form in of the present perfect. Okay, hold on. Okay, here we go.
I don't have partner. Okay, let's see. Okay. Is the um, to the core bear from the list belong? Okay. This Matthew is waiting on the corner for his girlfriend, but <laughs> she she ella quizás no estaba. Mm -hmm. She she not. Ah. Uh, yeah, right. She not arrived. No. I don't I don't remember yet. ¿Qué significa yet? But she Aún. Quiero... Aún. Aún. Mhm. Uh -huh. Aún. But Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, sería not not arrived yet. Eh, pero como la quiero ver, la vamos a poner en negativo. Neg o... Ajá. Ajá. Y negativa, vea. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Please blog complete following sentences. Put the verb in the. Uh -huh. Negativo. Porque dice que Mat Matío estaba esperando en la esquina por uh -huh. su novia, vea. Pero uh -huh. ella. Pero sí, ella me imagino, no. no estaba, quizás. ¿Eh? Mm. Hello, Estefanía. Hello. I'm here or not here? I'm here. <laughs> okay. Behind a right stop, speak by read. Mm. Sí, para mí sería a right. No sé. Vamos a ver. But she not arrive en negativo. Pero en español mm. me cuesta pensar. <risa> y en inglés. <risa> Menos. <risa> Veamos la dos. My brother lives. In a different country. Yeah. I came from two years. Uh -huh. She was the Hassan arrived. Mm -hmm. Hassan arrived. Eh, ya uno llega. Así es. Así es, la primera. Yes. Hassan arrived. Yes. Mm, yeah, it, it is for me, no. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sí, porque Matthew is waiting. Estaba esperándola. Y de ahí no creo que no ella no le habló. O... <laughs> no, ella, ella aún no ha llegado. ¿Verdad que sí? Sí. Es... Ajá, uh -huh. has not arrived, ¿verdad? Oh. No. Yes. But she, aquí, yes. but she, aquí vamos a utilizar el has y have. Hasn't. Yes, bro. Uh -huh. ah, entonces sería... Put, uh -huh. Sí, porque dice put the verb in the negative form. Ah, entonces sería but she, she hasn't arrived. Uh -huh. Arrived. Mm -hmm. Y en el otro sería I My brother life Country I ¿Qué? Sí, no sí. lo he visto Sí, ajá Por dos años Seri, Sí, por Pero entonces sería I don't see O ahí I, I I don't Sí, porque quiero ver I My brother haven't. life I haven't I haven't. I haven't. Ah. Okay. Teacher, okay. aquí en todo vamos a utilizar el has y have. Eh, como es en negativo, mm -hmm. eh, sería hasn't or haven't. haven't. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen. 
Exactly. Mm -hmm. ah. Ellie and Bill got a divorce. Qué bárbaro. Se <laughs> got divorced five years ago. <laughs> five years ago. Aquí sería they have they they haven't speak spoken. Mm -hmm. oh, spoke, spoke, uh -huh. es uh -huh. spoke. Es spoken. Spoken. Mm -hmm. They haven't spoken. Mm -hmm. They haven't spoken each other since then. Even... Aquí the class hasn't hasn't been each the past the beginning. El participio, el pasado participio. es eh, begun. Pero ahorita se lo escribo si gusta. Okay. Number four, it is Ajá, only the class has it. The class. The class has him. Allí begun. Mm -hmm. And number number five. It start started to snow last night, and and still what is no teacher i'm sorry why no 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 s n o w what number what number number five it said i started to snow last ah snow yeah eh, nevar ah okay thank you Yes. What do you think is the correct answer, Julio? Or, or Christian? Mm. What the correct form? Begin. What is begin? Eh, iniciar. Ah, okay. She has finally. She, she has finally decided which car she wasn't. But she hasn't bought. But, mm -hmm. but she hasn't bought. Number seven. We finished, teacher. Ah. We finished, teacher. Nice. Pero... Okay, uh, can you hold on just for a couple of minutes because the rest of the group haven't finished yet. Okay. 
Okay. Yet. Ah, yeah. Begin. And sería begun, ¿verdad? Begin. The class. The class hasn't begun. Yes. Uh, it, it's negative. It's right. Yeah. Uh, wait, I, I write the, the class have not begun. Begun yet. Okay, the next. It is start to now last night. And it is still... Empezó a nevar la última noche y still, no, no, still, no, no, still es, y todavía stop ha, hasn't stop ajá ah pues sí Stop or oh, only stop with ED double P stop and with ED oh, exactly okay. double P. Thanks. Okay, the next <laughs> she has finally decide which car the which car she wants, but she. Which car she wants? She has finally decided. Hasn't bought. But hasn't bought. <coughs> exactly. She has been bought. Uh huh. Yeah. No, no, no. He, she haven't. Haven't. He or or what is the subject? I'm sorry. She. She. she in that case, it is hasn't. Uh huh. Hasn't bought. Okay. Continue, Daniel, please. The seven. Read, please. I hear that the movie at the Roxy Theater is great. But I... But I haven't... Haven't no. been... Haven't I'm seen... Not. See, sí. haven't no, I has, I haven't seen, I yet, I think. Have uh, estar es nunca no. estado ahí, nunca estado ahí, verdad? Uh -huh. I have, have never yeah. been. Have have never been. So it's B. But I have never been it yet. Mm. Okay. I I bought a newspaper today, but I still haven't read read is real. The pronunciation is different. The pronunciation. It is red, but the writing, it is the same. Read and red. Read exactly. is, the, is, for, is the different for the time, for, uh, para diferenciar el, el tiempo. Yeah. Exactly, la pronunciación es la um, I haven't read. read. And this time it's red. Red, exactly. Okay. Red. Next, he took he took his car to, to the to service the station day. yesterday. But they he took his car to the service station yesterday. But they... 
Uh, sí. No, es, que, es que yo creo que la 7 era, era sin y acá sí es pin. Creo. Oh. He took his card. No, no, no. Eh, no, está confuso. He took the his card service station. So, sí, no lo hemos usado. Start. See and speak. The Andersons moved out of New York 10 years ago and they... The Anderson moved out of New York 10 years ago and they... And they see... They have been... Have not been back. See... I Sorry, see you... back, see back to the city. Science then. Bean stop. Maybe he's been like you. <laughs> the number seven talk about the a movie, so it's been is. Es que I hear that the movie at the Roxy Theater is great, but I <coughs> get the number seven. So the number seven sounds like a C, not B. Yes, I told you that the seven was to C. Uh, where's in, the, in, in the nine is. Okay, here we are again. All right, in this uh, in this exercise, okay, we were uh, struggling a little bit. Okay, it was a little bit difficult, right? Okay, however, we did it. All right, we're going to start. Uh, let me see. Okay, Matthew is waiting on the corner. Uh, for his girlfriend, but she, she hasn't, hasn't arrived. She hasn't arrived. Arrived, right? Yes. She hasn't arrived. Hasn't arrived. Let's see. It is regular. So, for instance, we only add ed. Matthew is waiting on the corner for his girlfriend. But she hasn't arrived yet. Okay, my brother lives in a different country. I I haven't visited him for two years. Visited him for two years. Visit it is regular, so we only add yes. Ed Ellie and Bill got a divorce five years ago. They haven't, they haven't, haven't spoken. spoken. Spoken, good. It's only 8.45, the class. Hasen Begum. Hasen Begum. Yeah. Yet, okay. Uh, it start, started to snow last night and is still hasn't stopped. 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 She has finally decided which car she wants, but she hasn't bought. 
Yeah. Wow, the jet. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Seven. But uh, I heard that the movie at the Roxy Theater. But, but I haven't great, seen. But I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen. Number eight. I bought a new newspaper today, but I still haven't read. Haven't read, read it. Having read it. Read. Read. No comment. Read it. Exactly. Just the pronunciation, right? Uh, read is affirmative, but in past participle, the pronunciation is read. Read. Okay. I read. haven't read. He took his car to the service station yesterday, but they haven't fixed. Haven't fixed. fixed. Uh, haven't fixed. 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 Yeah. Like this, haven't fixed. Yeah. Is it okay? Yeah. Good. Yeah. All right. And finally, the Anderson move move out of New York ten years ago, and they haven't been. Yeah, I've been. Haven't been. Oh, been. Okay. Been. Been. Right. It is been. I haven't been. been. If you say been. been. Bean is frijoles. <laughs> bean, bean is the past part. Okay. okay, so here we have the sentences. Maybe let me see if we have any mistake. All right, everything is good. Nice. Okay, good. All right, excellent. Okay, let's continue in the exercise. And we're going to uh, we're going to have okay, uh, maybe new vocabulary for you. Okay, here we have oh this one. Okay, do you remember we have screening? Screening. Screening was the meaning was to select, reject consider group of people, etc., by examining systematically. The sentence, we screen uh, several ap applicants for the job. Okay, what, uh, do you know what feasible is? Oh, do you know what feasible is? Feasible. Feasible. Does anybody, does anybody know what feasible is no idea no idea okay okay how about increase increase incrementar exactly incrementar. for example uh, the price the gasoline price increased uh, during the last year, okay, the gasoline price increased, okay, the last year, increase, aumentar, aumentar, okay, uh, I, I'm sorry? Uh, increase prices. Increase prices, exactly, increase prices, okay, also we have alleviate, you know what allevi alleviate is? Alleviate. Yeah, alleviate, uh, alleviate, alleviate. Okay, well, uh, but I'm still waiting for feasible. Do you know what feasible is? Feasible. Feasible, you know what? Uh, okay. And the project is, is um, uh, actividad de realizarse, algo así. I'm sorry? Eh, en un proyecto es cuando, cuando es, cuando sí es posible realizarlo, cuando exactly. es factible. Es factible, po posible, muy bien. Thank you, Mr. Luis. 
feasible, if it is possible. Okay, so we have feasible, okay? We're going to repeat, we're going to repeat. Feasible, feasible. 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 One more time, feasible. Feasible. Okay, increase. 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 Okay, alleviate. 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 All right. Alleviate. Good. All right. Now, uh, I want you to make a sentence. Please make a sentence. Okay. Uh, using feasible, another sentence using increase, and another sentence using alleviate. Alleviate. Okay, one sentence for feasible, another sentence for increase, and another sentence for alleviate. Okay, is it okay? Is it okay for minutes? Yes. Okay, yes. four minutes. Okay, four minutes to make three sentences. One using feasible, another using increase, and another using alleviate. I'll alleviate. Are you ready? Feasible.
Ready? <clears throat> ready? Who's ready? Oh, yes. Not yet. Okay. Yes, I, I think, yes, I think so. Yes. All right. Yes. Okay. If you're ready, if you're ready with feasible, okay. Who wants to share the sentence using feasible? Me, teacher. Go ahead, please. Okay. It is not feasible to invest in Bitcoin. All right. Invest. Perfect. I like that word. Invest. Feasible. <laughs> Another example using feasible. Any Me. other words? Thank you, Miss Lady. The new project is feasible. The new project is feasible. Excellent. Good. Another example using feasible. Miss Jacqueline, please. Okay, you have to decide to go on the feasible way. Good, excellent, perfect. Another using feasible. To get to get, in, to get uh, fluent in English is feasible. Exactly, to get fluent in English is feasible if you if you practice a lot. Yes. <laughs> Good, thank you, mister. Um, another one using feasible. Okay, two more. Me, teacher. Thank you, Miss Sabrina. Thank you, the schedule is not feasible. All right. Can you repeat the first, the first word? Thank, or you said something? Thank you, the schedule, the ah. schedule is not feasible. Thing, all right. Maybe you can change that word for do to. Do to. Debido a. Do to. Okay, good. Thank you. And uh, how about increase? And you have a volunteer using the word increase. Okay. Uh, the study. Me? Are increasing our knowledge. Can you repeat it again? Uh, the studies are increasing our knowledge. Okay, are increasing our knowledge. Perfect. Good sentence. Anyone else? It's me. Miss Lady, please. Is green sales increase during the summer? Good. Increase. Very good. Anyone else? Me, teacher. The river increased your flow. Okay. Uh, its flow. Its flow. Okay. okay. The river increased its flow. Thanks. Got it. Excellent job. Anyone else? Me, Me. teacher. Mr. Daniel Archimedes. Okay. Here, more employees so we we'll make to increase our production. Increase our production. Perfect. Anyone else? Me, teacher. Okay, Mr. Angel. The food increased after the pandemic. The food, okay. The, the yeah. price of the... Ah, the price of meal. The, Yes, teacher, what is uh, canasta básica in English? Okay, it can be like, well, I guess we don't have a specific uh, translation, <laughs> but we can use like, yeah. um, like a synonym. Give me a second. Maybe, maybe uh, we can use a basic good. The basic meal. The market. Exactly. Basic, okay, yeah. thank you. A ba basic market, a, because basic, if, you translate directly, if you translate directly, it is basic basket, right? Uh huh. But it is a basic food. Question, yes, it sounds better. Okay, thank you. Or basic food basket can be another translation. Basic basket food. Okay, something like that. Or also cost of groceries. The cost of groceries. 
groceries okay. are like things that we commonly buy, like beans, cheese, mm -hmm. uh, rice. Oh, yes. Okay, groceries, the cost of groceries. Okay, another example using increase. Okay, I increased increase my score in PVC game. Oh, good, cool. cool. Mr. Marcos? Okay, uh, we must increase the planting of trees. Excellent, that is very important. Okay, good. Well, how about alleviate? Alleviate. Me, teacher. Miss Marina, go ahead. The, me the medicine alleviate, alleviate my headache. My headache. Your headache. 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 Excellent. Headache. Okay, dolor de cabeza. Headache. Very good. Also, we have stomach ache, tooth ache, headache. Excellent. Okay, let's continue. Okay, uh, anybody else using alleviate? Using alleviate? Teacher, I can say right. the, the government succeed to uh, alleviate the population. To alleviate. To, to alleviate. Allevi exactly. Okay. Okay, Mr. Mario says my bank account in Increases or increase this year? Okay. Because increase. Increases. Increase. Their person singular. Excellent, Mister. Thank you. Okay. Increases. All right. Let's continue. Okay. Uh, well, we're going to use the manual, the manual. Okay, just give me a second. The manual. Okay, yesterday we studied the vocabulary, this vocabulary. Okay, do you remember what is sight and handling test? Sight and handling test. What it is? This is the C. This test is a good option when there are significant tactile, tactile or visual elements of the, of the product for a consumer to experience. Excellent, okay. Consumers to experience, okay. Sight, it is this one to see. Sight in handling something that we can touch. Okay, we can manipulate handling test. Okay, how about use test? Use test. What it is use test? Use test, it number two. Is consumers take the product to be used either as a sample or for an extended period, as they will usually use it in their own home. On their own home, perfect, excellent. Okay, so in the use test, the people test the product for a long time. And after, for example, uh, after a month, they say the experience that they have using or handling the product. Okay, for example, uh, let's suppose you will apply the use test, okay? And you, have, you want to buy a motorcycle. You want to buy a motorcycle. So maybe you can, you can test the motorcycle for a month. So you ride your, your, well, you ride the motorcycle and at the end you give your opinion. Okay, that is an example of use test. Also we have branded test. Branded test. What it is branded test? Maybe is consumers 
are aware of the brand they are trying. This says better reflects in the real world experience and the value of the brand. Good. Okay, for example, uh, let's suppose you are testing a pair of shoes, a pair of sneakers. Okay, but you know the brand, you know they are Nike, they are Adidas, okay, they are Bracos, so you know the brand. Okay, uh, how about blind test? Ah, this is the opposite, blind test. Blind test is when you can see, blind, blind, you can see. What it is, blind test. Products are test on brand, so the consumer focuses strict, strictly on the product characteristic and not the not on the brand name. Good. Okay. So in this type of test, you don't know the brand. Okay. You focus on the experience of the product. Okay. How you feel using. Then we have monadic method. What it is, monadic method. Consumers use the product in real circumstances. They use a product, mm -hmm. sign it, handle it, and write it later. Good. Excellent. Thank you, Miss Jacqueline. Uh, let me see, sequential monadic method. Sequential monadic method. Can you volunteer to read sequential monadic method? Me. Please. Custom, customer use a product. Think it and uh, handle it. They are uh, they were then they use it to handle another product and read it. The customer does not rate both products against each other. Good, excellent. And excellent, Mr. Uh, Daniel. And the last one, peer comparison test. The last one, peer comparison test. Who wants to read the last one? Me, teacher. Thank you, mister. Uh, consumers use or cite a handle one product, then product, then another, and are asked to indicate which of the two they prefer. Good. Okay, excellent. All right, so here we have the different uh, kind of product testing. Okay, and now we have this conversation, this conversation between Alejandro and father, Alejandro and father. And also we have three questions. Miss Jacqueline, Yesenia, can you read the three questions, please? Yes, uh, number one, what type of test do they decide to apply? Mm -hmm. Number two, what testing method will they implement for the papa sandwich and why? And number three, what are the next decisions Alejandro and his dad will take about testing the new papa sandwich? Good, excellent. Okay, so here we have the conversation between, remember, do you remember the, uh, the son and his father? They were, well, uh, the son Alejandro was trying to make a new product. So here we have, read the following conversation between Alejandro and his dad. They are making decision about testing new Papa's sandwich. Okay, here we go. It says, uh, we are ready to test our new product. What do we do? First, I think the site 
and handling test would be the best option because it allows customers to see the product, feel it, smell it, and taste it. What about the other vari uh, variables? Will the product be branded or not? I let you decide on that, son. Great. As for the method, I was thinking about the monadic because uh, consumers will eat and taste our product first and then we'll rate it. I find it more coherent for our new product, the Papa Sandwich. You are learning, son. We have so much work to do. We have to discuss about our potential customers, the prototype, our target audience, marketing, etc. Okay, what kind of uh, product testing are they using? What kind of product testing are they using? The food? Yeah, yeah, the pro they are testing the product, but what kind of method of testing they are using? The monadic method? The monadic method. And what is the monadic method? Oh, the monadic method. When we use the real experience. When we use the real experience. For example, it says consumers will eat and taste our product first and then we'll rate it. Okay. So let's suppose. Um, ah, Miss Sabrina said she wanted to, to make a shampoo. Okay, a special shampoo because I forgot the name. So the monadic test to taste the shampoo will be Miss Sabrina will give to different girls the shampoo and the girls will taste the shampoo and then they will give their opinion. Okay, that is the monadic test. They use in a real environment. Or another example that I remember, Mr. Angela, I guess, he said he wanted to make a new pupusa flavor in a new alcoholic drink. So the monadic, uh, the monadic test is he will give the new pupusa with its new ingredients. People will eat the product and they will rate it. They will give their opinion about his product. Okay, that is monadic, uh, monadic method. Method, exactly. People taste and rate. Okay, prueban, usan el, el, el producto y también dan su valor allá. All right, that is monadic test. Okay, I'm going to read that again. And it says, we are ready to, to test our new product. What do we do? First, I think the site and handle the test will be the best option because it allows customers to see the product, feel it, smell it, and taste it. What about the other variables? Will the product be branded or not? I'll let you decide on that too. Great. As for the method, I was thinking about the monadic. Customer will eat and taste our product first. And then, will rate it. I find, I find it more coherent for our new product, the Papa Sandwich. You're learning, son. We have so much work to do. We have to discuss about our potential customers. To customer, the prototype, our target audience, marketing, etc. Variables, variables. Okay, so is there any question about the, the reading, any question about the, the, any word that you don't know, the meaning, the pronunciation? Teacher, there... the pronunciation, the variables is variables. Bar variables. Ba, ba. Okay, you put your, your, your teeth, your upper teeth on the lower lips. 
Okay, and you say variable. Var variables. 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 Mm -hmm. Exactly. Variables. Another word that you don't know the meaning. And the uh, coherent is the word is co coherent. Co coherent. Coherent. Okay. Anybody? Another question? Another another question, vocabulary, meaning, significado, or la pronunciación? No, it's everything clear. No, me. Okay, got it. So we have, I'm going to read it again. We are ready to test our new product. What do we do? First, I think the site and the end handling test would be the best option because it allows customers to see the product, feel it, smell it, and taste it. What about the other variables? Will the product be branded or not? I let you decide on that. Great. As for the method, I was thinking about the monadic. Consumers will eat and taste our product first, and then we'll rate it. I find it more coherent for our new product, the Papa sandwich. Your, your learning, son, we have so much work to do. We have to discuss about our potential customers, the prototype, our target audience, marketing, and etc. Okay, so after this, as usual, we're going to practice Okay, we're going to practice with our with our classmates. So please practice. Uh, try to switch roles. One time Alejandro, the other time Father. Okay, so here we go.
and tested. What about the other variables? Will the product be brand or not? I'll let uh, you decide on that song. Right. As for the method, I was thinking about the monadic. Consumers will eat and test your product first and then we'll rate it. I find it more coherent for our new product, the Papa's Sandwich. You're learning some. We have so much work to do. We have to dis discuss about our potential customer, the proto prototype or target audience, marketing, etc. Start you and again. Okay. We are ready to test our new product. What do you what do we do? First, I think the sign and handling test will be the best option because it's always customer to see the product, feel it, smell it, and uh -huh. uh, yes. Teacher. And uh -huh. teacher, are you are you there, teacher? Yes, here I am. Sir. Teacher, what uh, what is the pronunciation and coherence? Coherent. Exactly, coherence. Very good. Coherence. Ah, okay. Coherence. Perfect. Coherence. Perfect. Okay. You pronounce it perfectly. And okay. audience, it's that correct? I'm sorry? Audience. Let me see what it is. And the last paragraph. Paragraph. Ah, it is audience. 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 Okay. Uh, audience. audience. Exactly. Audience. Okay. Let's start the new. Okay. You just start. Okay. Go ahead. Or, or do I start? I, I am start? Yes. Okay. We are ready to test our new product. What do we do? First, I think the signed and handling test will be the best option because it allows customers to see the product. Feel it, smell it, and taste it. What about the other variables? Will the product be branded or not? I let you decide on that, so. Great. As for the me too, I was thinking about the monarch customer will it and taste or product first. And then we're ready, I find in more current for new for for or new product, the papa sandwich. Your learning, son. We have so much work to do. We have to discuss about our potential customers, the prototype or target audience, marketing, etc. Okay. Now I would change. Okay. okay. You start okay. now. Yes. We are ready to test our new product. What do we do? First, I think the side and handling test will be the best option because it, it allows customers to see the product, feel it, smell it, and taste it. What about the other variables? Will the product be random or not? I'll let you decide on that, son. Great. As for the method, I was I was thinking about the monadic. Consumers will eat and test our product first, and then will rate it. I find it more coherent for our new product. The Papa's Sandwich. You're learning, son. 
we have so much work to do. We have to discuss about our potential customers, the prototype, our target audience, marketing, etc. Very Thank good. Like, um, can you switch can... Uh, another, another yes. time? Yes, you start. Okay. I start. Okay. Uh, we are ready to test our new product. What do we do? First, I think the site and handling test will be the best option because it's allowed. So, yes, uh, you um, want, want to uh, be Alejandro. father? Ah, Alejandro, okay. Okay. We are ready to take our new product. We well, are ready to take our new product. What do, what do we do? First, I think the site and handling tests will be the best option because it allows customers to see the product. Feel it, smell it, and taste it. What about the other barriers? Will the product be brand or not? It lets you decide on that, son. Great. I for the metal. It was the thing about the monade. Customer with it and sexy or product first. And they will write it and find more current for our new product, the Papa Sandwich. You're learning, learning, son. We have so much work to do. We have to discuss about our potential customers, the prototype, our target audience, marketing, etc. Excellent. Thank you. It's only the, the practice. Yes, only the, but if you have the time to do the question, it's okay. Oh, okay. Mm, okay, let me see the question. What type of test do they decide to apply? Uh, the, okay. Ah. It's, it's time, teacher. First, the help with the pronunciation with the word and color yellow, please. Sure. Uh, variables. 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 Variable. Again, Coherent. Please. Coherent. Perfect, Ms. Stella. Coherent. Coherent. Prototype. Or oh, prototype. 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 Audience. 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 Excellent. Audience. One, one more time. Variables. 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 Coherent. Variables. Coherent. Prototype. 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 Audience. Audience. Coherent. Excellent. Variables, okay. Coherent, Coherent. prototype, audience. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Can we do it again? Yes. Okay. At first, and then we write it. I find it more coherent for our new product, the Papa Sandwich. You're learning, son. We have so much work to do. We have to discuss about our potential customers, the prototype, our target audience, marketing, etc. We are ready to test our new product. What do we do? 
First, I think deciding how the test would be the best option because it allows customers to see the product, feel it, smell it, and taste it. What about the other variables? Would the product be branded or not? I let you decide on that side. Great. As for the metal, I was thinking about the monadic. Consumer will eat and taste our product first, and then we'll rate it. I feel it more current for our new product, the Papa sandwich. Your learning soon. We have so much work to do. We had to discuss about our potential customer, the prototype, our target audience, marketing, etc. Okay, great. Uh, teacher. Um, hello, hello. How about the conversation? Tell me, yeah, good. It sounds good. Uh, you have improved your pronunciation, Mr. Man. Okay, and prototype. Prototype, exactly. Variables. Oh, prototype, variables, Pro excellent. And another. And brands, the teacher, come, what is the pronunciation, the brand, brand? Brand, brand, let me see what it is. And the second sentence or Alejandro for uh, Alejandro. branded, branded. Okay. Branded. It comes, exactly. It comes from brand, marca, brand, dead. Brand. Branded. Excellent. Teacher and the other word site, site. Site, exactly. Site. Site. Okay. Again, uh, Angela. Okay. We are ready to test to test our new product. What do we do? First, I think the things and hardly test would be the best option because it's a lot of customer to see the product. Feel it, smell it, and taste it. What about the other variables? Will the product be brands or I let you decide on that, son. Great. As for the method, I was thinking about the monolith. Consumer will eat and taste our product first, and then we'll rate it. I find it more current for our new product, the Papa sandwich. You learning some. We have so much work to do. We have to discuss about our potential customers, the prototype, our target audience, marketing, etc. We are ready to test our new product. What do we do? First, I think deciding how to test would be the best option because it allows customers to see the product, feel it, smell it, and test it. What about the other variables? Would the product branded or not? I let you decide on that one. Great. Okay, well, I guess we are ready to read the conversation. Uh, so we're gonna have some volunteers, okay? If you want to participate, okay, let me know and you will have the chance, okay? I don't know who wants to break the ice. Who wants to break the ice? Me. Oh. Let me see. Oh, I, I heard two voices. I heard two voices. Um, Who wants to be? Me? Okay. I, okay, Mr. Jose Rene. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you want With me to Marco. share screen? I start. Okay. Okay. 
How you made any progress with the sample selection for the focus? Ah, me equivoqué de página. Ah, yeah. <laughs> ya, adelantado, yeah. adelantado. Yeah. 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 It's a hard worker, right? It's a hard worker. Yeah. The older course. <laughs> He is in okay. the intermediate three now. <laughs> <laughs> we are okay, ready to we are ready to test our new product. What do we do? First, I think the sync and handle test would be the best option because it allowed customer to see the product, feel it, smell it, and test it. What about the other variable? Will the product be brand or not? I'll let you decide on that song. Great. As for the metal, I was thinking about the monadic. Consumers will eat and taste your product first, and then we'll rate it. I find it more coherent for your new product, the pop up sandwich. You're learning, son. We have so much work to do. We have to discuss about our potential customer, the prototype or target audience, marketing, etc. Excellent. Good pronunciation. Okay, we're going to reinforce sight. Sight. Okay. Sight. Coherent. 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 Excellent. Coherent. Uh, let me see. Method. 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 Okay, rate, 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 rate. Excellent, rate. Good job. Okay, I guess was Miss uh, Lisette, Miss Sabrina Lisette. I guess she wants to participate because I heard her voice. Go ahead. Who is your, your classmate? It's Daniel. Daniel. Okay, Daniel. Daniel. Daniel, you ready? <laughs> Mr. Daniel? I guess he left. Daniel, is asleep. I'm here. I'm here. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. He was drinking coffee. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Water, give my bottle back. <laughs> okay, water. Healthier. Okay, let me see. Sabrina, are you ready? Who are you? Okay. Okay, uh, we are ready to test our new product. What do we do? First, I think design and handling test will be the best option because it allows customers to see the product, uh, feel it, to smell it, and what about the other variables? Variables? Excellent. Will the product be branded or not? Yeah, let you decide on that song. Great. As for the method, I was thinking about the monadic. Consumers will eat and taste our product first, and then we'll rate it. I find it more coherent. Coherent? Coherent. Coherent for our new product, the Papa Sandwich. You are learning song. We have so much work to do. We have to discuss about our potential customer, the prototype, our target audience, marketing, etc. Excellent. Okay, good job. Both of you, good pronunciation. You have improved a lot. Okay, your pronunciation. Okay. Uh, but we need to reinforce the pronunciation of branded. 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 Excellent. Good. Brand. Okay. Uh, then everything was good. Excellent job. Okay. Another two more volunteers. Other two more volunteers. Me, teacher. 
Miss Jacqueline. Okay. With Who is your partner? Osbin. Okay, Mr. Osbin. Okay, you start, Jacqueline. Okay. We are ready to test our new product. What do we do? First, I think design and handling test will be the best option because it allows customers to see the product, feel it, smell it, and taste it. What about the other but variables and will the product be branded or not? I will let you decide on that song. Great. As for the method, I was thinking about the monadic. Customers will eat and taste our product first and then will rate it. I find it more coherent for our new product. The papa's you know, uh, the papa sandwich. Papa's you know, uh -huh. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> okay. Your learning sound. We have so much work to do. We have to discuss about our potential customer. The prototype, proto prototype, <laughs> or target audience, marketing, etc. Good. Okay, prototype. 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 Okay. Excellent. Prototype. Good. Uh, let me see. Everything was good. Okay. Uh, handling. 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 I can't hear you. The mute feature. Oh, I'm sorry. I was mute. My bad. My bad. I'm sorry. Uh, we were practicing prototype, right? Prototype. Prototype. Coherent. 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 Okay. Coherent. About taste. 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 Okay. Here, smell. 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 Perfect. Smell. Okay. Potential. Potential. Excellent. Okay. I don't know if we got more volunteers to practice the reading. Mr. Mr. Angel Antonio. Yes, we'll be Mr. my or partner Ms. Luis. Oh, okay. Your partner is okay. Luis. Thank you. Okay. We're ready. I will start. Well, we are ready to test our new product. What do we do? Uh, first. I think the side and handling test would be the test option because it allows customers to see the product, feel it, smell it, and taste it. What about the other variables? Will will be will the product be branded or not? I'll let you decide on that, son. Great. As for the metal, I was thinking about the monadic consumer will eat and test our product first and then we'll rate it. I find, I find it more coherent for our new product, the Papa sandwich. Your learning son, we have so much work to do. We have to discuss about our potential customers, the prototype, our target audience and marketing, etc. Excellent. Okay, good. Everything was good. Good pronunciation and fluency. Okay, now if we don't have more volunteers, more volunteers. Okay, well, we're going to answer the questions. The first one says, what type of tests do they decide to apply? What type of tests do they decide to apply? Monadic metal. Monadic, Monadic metal. Monadic method. Okay, excellent. Uh, what testing method would they implement for the Papa sandwich? What 
testing method will they implement for Papa sandwich? What people, what people will do with a sandwich? Will they only they eat it? Eat. Ah, okay, taste. they will eat it. What else? Taste it. Test it. Excellent. And I don't remember all the. <laughs> but... uh, and rate, rate it. No, no. It. Excellent. Is, yeah, yeah, it is. is. Good. Uh, next one. What are the next decision Alejandro and his dad will take about testing you Papa's sandwich? Number three. Number three. What are the next decision, decisions Alejandro and his dad will take about testing new Papa sandwich? It's like a potential customer. Potential customer. And create the prototype. To the the prototype. prototype. What else? And the, our target audience. Target marketing. audience. Marketing. Okay, excellent. Very good. So here we have the conversation of today. Okay, and tomorrow we're going to see this conversation. Tomorrow we're going to go over the words in addition for furthermore, etc. But that is a tomorrow class. Right now, okay, we're going to practice just a little bit. Okay, just give me a second. Okay, give me, give me two minutes because I need to open something. Hold on, please. Hold on, please. Okay, well, I'm going to share with you a link. Okay, we're going to use the cell phone. Okay, let me see. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna share this link because we're going to practice the past participle. The past participle. We need to practice a lot for you to memorize all the verbs. Uh, can you please paste this link in your uh, WhatsApp group, please? Okay, please. Okay, uh, this is another game that we're going to have. It is called Kahoot. Okay, here we're going to practice the past participle. Have you ever played Kahoot? Or this is the first time? Yeah, I played it. Good, okay. It's to me. It is the first time for you. Okay. Only for me, Stella? Have you ever played Kahoot before? Or this is the first time? I haven't played it. Stella, I think that we are we are we have played it. I remember. I don't remember because <laughs> I I remember just the the other uh, play. But this one, no, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, don't worry. 
we got 13 now. Uh, Angel, have you ever played Kahoot? Uh, yes, as okay. I remember. Good. I played. Good. Okay. I know that I have played, but I don't remember how to play. <laughs> okay, you will see. I don't remember. Question. You will see the question either in your cell phone and on my screen too. And you have to choose one of the four options. Okay, the option uh, that will come up are in colors and different shapes, different color in different shapes. And you have less time to answer. I guess I can start now. May I start now? Yes. Okay, here we go. Past participle. Three, two, one. Okay, past participle of go. What is that? Past participle of go. When, gone, gone. Okay, don't tell it, don't tell it. Okay, <laughs> the past participle, it is gone. Okay, nine students answer properly. Okay, in the first position <laughs> is Mr. Mario. Okay, what is the past participle of C? Seen. <laughs> Seed. Sin. Ah, okay. Don't say that, please. <laughs> okay, Miss Jacqueline, she on the top. Second, Miss Aurina. Third, Jose Aguirre. Fourth, Mr. Angel. And fifth, Mabel. Next. Bean. <laughs> Don't say it, please. Okay, Ben. Jacqueline, it is on the top. Miss Sabrina is second, third, Jose Aguirre. Yeah. What is the past participle of have, have got or has got? Exactly, have. No, me agarro. <laughs> really? Okay, Miss Jacqueline is still on the top. Okay, what is the past participle of eat? Eat. Eating. 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 Okay, now we have. Miss Mabel, she is on the position number three. Mr. Angel, he is fourth. Miss Estefania, she is fifth. Slip. Slip. Slept. Perfect. Now, Mr. Angel is third. Sabrina second, Miss Jacqueline first. Right. Excellent. Written. Drive. Drive. It is driven. Excellent. Fine. Found, perfect, found. 
Miss Jacqueline, she's on fire. She's in the first position. Second is Miss Sabrina, very close to her. Very close. Meat. Past participle of meat. It is. Let me see. Met. 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 Next. Uh, Jack, Miss Jacqueline. Okay, Miss Sabrina. Third, Miss Estefania. Fourth, Mr. Luis. And uh, fifth, Daniel. Mr. Daniel Florent. Swim. Swarm. Perfect. Swarm. That is the past participle. Okay, now we have new leaders. Miss Jacqueline, Miss Estefania is second. What happened with Miss Sabine? And Mr. Florent, he is third. Angel is fourth and Miss Sabrina is fifth. Break. Break. Broken, excellent. Broken. Live, live. Left, excellent. Pay, pay. Okay, in the last question, the last question. All right, fly it is flown, flown. Okay, let's see the podium. Third position, Miss Mr. Florent, second, Stefania, in the first position is four, Miss Jacqueline Mira, okay? Four was Angel and fifth was, okay? Uh, the winner will have a delivery, a pizza delivery. <laughs> yeah. Papa Young's. Papa Young's. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Papa sandwich, yeah. Papa sandwich. That will be the yeah. price. Okay. Good job. Excellent. Thank you very much for your participation. Okay. Uh, I hope you like the class today. I'm going to start taking the attendance list. The attendance list. All right. Benitez Ventura. Present teacher. Marroquín Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Lopez Perez. Lopez Perez, Christian Josue. Florin, Flor, Mr. Florin. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Alvarez Mejia. Present teacher. Miranda Rodriguez. Present. Good. Thank you. Avelar Cortes. Avelar Cortes. Valdez Gomez. Here. Good, thank you. Um, Aguirre Chavarria. Present. Merino Gonzalez. Present. Ramirez Arevalo. Present. Cuellar de Barrientos. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ventura de Valdez. Presentation. Alicia Gertrudez, thank you, Miss. Escamilla Jurado, thank you. Mancia Gutierrez. Present teacher. Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. 
Good. Eh, Vázquez Romero. Flores Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. García Orellana. Present. Vázquez Vázquez. Vázquez Vázquez. Gómez García. Present teacher. Good. And Orellana del Cid. Present teacher. Good. All right. Today we have the one-on-one uh, -on -one with uh, Lizeth Garcia. Okay, so the rest, see you tomorrow. God bless you. Good night. And see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night. 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 See ya. Okay, me, Sabrina, do you want to have the meeting in English or in Spanish? Uh, what did you say, teacher? Sorry, I didn't do understand. Want, do you want to have this 10 minutes in English or in Spanish? In English, please. Okay, tell me. Uh, well, as you know, these 10 minutes are for you in case you have any question or any doubt about the topics that we have studied. In case you don't have any question or you know you don't have any comment, maybe you can give us a feedback, okay, some recommendations for the English class. Okay, uh, no, I, th I think that I, I like the class, uh, that I want to say thank to you, and thank to the support of an English cooperative, and if there is a great opportunity for us, and I want to say thank you, <laughs> right, and... Thank you. Um, well, I think that I always say that, teacher, the most difficult for me is the listening. The listening. The listening, because I can read. Um, I, I, I love read in Spanish. It's my hobby. Mm -hmm. So I think the grammar is easy for me. Yes. I, I have to practice too much. I have to practice more, but, but it's easy. But mm -hmm. the listening... Uh, I think is is the most difficult, and I try to 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 listen a song or to listen when I am watching my series. I try to close my eyes and to try to understand. Mm -hmm. And um, I do that. I don't know what other advice can you give me. Sure. Uh, well, well. Uh, first of all, uh, I like how you participate in the class. Okay, that shows me that you are into learning, you want to learn, and that's good because I can see your motivation, okay? Also, you have good English level, you have good pronunciation, I see you help your classmate, and that, uh, that, is, that is very good, okay, I like it. And also some piece of advice, well, as you know, uh, we live in El Salvador, obviously, and our ears, our ears are used to listen just in Spanish, all the time in Spanish. So you only have like two hours to listen English. But when you leave the class, your ears again start listening Spanish, right? So we need to look for different methods, okay? And these are the things that I did when I was learning. Because in the exams that I had, uh, some of the weaknesses that I had were the listening exams. But the things that I did to improve, for example, uh, I got a radio on my cell phone. There, is, there are apps where you can find radios in English. Okay, if you type on Google or where you can find different apps in your cell phone. Okay, a app store, I, I get it, I, I think it is. In the app store, type radios, radios, okay, English radios. And uh, I got a radio, okay, from, from the States. And meanwhile, I was traveling, I used my, headphones 
and I started to listen to the radio in English, and that helped me a lot. Also, uh, I started watching TV, but the movies. But the first time, I recommend you to, to watch the movie in Spanish, okay? The second time, watch the same movie with subtitles in English, but with subtitles. And try to shadowing. Shadowing is like you will read the subtitle, read, read the subtitle. Okay, you stop the movie, you pause the, the movie, and then you start uh, reading again the subtitles. That is another option. And the third time, you watch the movie without subtitles. Okay, without. Maybe you choose your favorite movie, that a movie that you already saw. Okay, you can watch it again with subtitles, and the second time without subtitles. That is another option. And also, I will recommend you this website. Here you have the link. Check it out the link. Here you will see different, here you will see different exercises. Okay, since, since very beginning until advanced. I don't Do know I if- click? I can see, do I click now? Oh. It, it, uh, save save the link. Okay. This is this is the website, ESL Cyber Listening Lab, and here here you have listening activities. Here you choose easy, intermediate. Let's choose easy. Okay, a day at school. I won't play the audio here because uh, copyright. Okay. <laughs> but you can check the website at home. You can listen in, and also it has exercises, quizzes of the listening. And those are my advices, my piece of advices for you. Okay, teacher, thanks. Okay, my <laughs> and pleasure. And I think uh, it was my pleasure to... <laughs> tell me, tell me, you were going to tell me something. Sorry if I, if I, if I, too much ask. I always Don't say worry. that to the teacher because I always ask and I am always trying to, to talk. But I am that way in Spanish too. I'm always uh, I was like that. I was like that in <laughs> when I was a student too. So if you don't ask, you don't, you don't learn. So for me, it's better if you ask because that's why they pay me for it. Yes. The, the problem with me is questions. that me. If, if, I, if I don't talk, there is a problem. <laughs> My mom said that. <laughs> no, nope. okay. For me, there is no problem. I like I like when people ask in the class because that shows me uh, they are paying attention and they want to learn. Okay, and I think that. that and what do you think about the class? What do you think we can improve? Or is uh, it okay like this? I like it. I think it is. It is okay. All right. Okay. I like Thank the game, much. teacher. I like the games. I want nice. to say that in okay. the first and the in the when we start the class mm -hmm. and that you start with a game, mm -hmm. I think that that wake me up mm -hmm. uh, because yeah. I I I always start the class and tired okay, yeah, <laughs> and that wake me up and sure. also when we finish the class and and i like to and and i like that <laughs> nice okay good okay i appreciate your comments that makes that inspire me to keep giving good classes because as you know here in uh, here in by the computer sometimes it's very difficult to teach and learn but i try to yeah. do my best Okay. Okay. So thanks, teacher. You. Okay. Thanks to you. See you tomorrow. God willing. Tomorrow. Okay. okay. Bye bye. Bye bye, teacher. Good night.